Yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to the Zen Lounge. In this video, I'm going to be covering the new update to the Quorum website. I went to the Quorum.com site and noticed they did a complete new rebrand and they're highlighting their ISO 20022 capabilities. So Quorum is the world's first super ledger. It's an enterprise grade blockchain solution with smart tokens. Uh, Quorum use cases, They this is updated. So they have tokenized real world assets, ISO 20022 messaging, neo banking, soul bound credentials, game economies. Another use case is uh, CBDCs and stable coins. So um, when we scroll down, this is all brand new from what I've seen. And in this image, they also include Solo in this image. They include Stellar in this image. Ethereum, USDC, Bitcoin. Is there plans to connect Stellar Network to Corium? I think so. So what's cool about uh, Corium is you're able to do cross-chain transactions with the global standard such as ISO 20022. You move smart assets swiftly across multiple chains using the IBC protocol and Corium's native bridge to the XRP ledger. That's another special feature of Corium is not only is this ISO 20022, it's the only Cosmos asset that is uh, interoperable with the XRP ledger as well. So Quorum is built to be compatible with ISO 20022 messaging from the protocol level. Experiment with the cross-border financial messaging on a test environment, and soon they're going to be allowing the public to access their simulator. We could simulate ISO 20022 financial messages. So this will be uh, the process transactions between financial institutions using the global financial messaging standard leading interoperability across high value payment systems worldwide. So if you remember back in the day, so who is basically the advisors to the Corium project when we first found out about this coin? We saw Carl Hua, and we also seen Michael Zakowski. Michael Zakowski became head of Ripple DeFi, Ripple X. Before that, he actually developed a project called Logos Network. And Logos Network was industry standard at the time. And Ripple actually acquired the Logos Network and their team. And that's when they put them to work. And then all of a sudden, you see Michael Zakowski pop up again, advising the Corian project. So this looks like a new and improved third generation logos network if you ask me and is compatible with xrp ledger you're gonna be able to bridge xrp solo tokens to corium and uh, turn them into smart tokens with iso 20022 capabilities smart contracts it's truly taking xrp ledger to the future so blockchain meets global finance standards streamline global communication so ISO 20022 provides universal language for financial messaging, ensuring clear, consistent communication across international borders. Precision and automation. So they talk about the XML, XML syntax of ISO 20022, uh, rapid and reliable. And they also have smart contract functionality baked into these tokens with the ISO 20022. So they talk all about the format and they give example of how ISO 20022 integrates with technologies like their smart tokens. They actually show specific examples and soon you're gonna be able to access their simulator. I tried to access their simulator, it's not live yet. They'll probably post some news today, but you could see how awesome this looks. So, you know, we have the Sarah airdrop in about 48 hours, I think. So make sure you guys get yourself prepared for the Sarah airdrop. A lot more people have been loading up on USDC, I've seen, getting prepared. But yeah, guys, so Quorium's getting prepared. Also, if we scroll down to the bottom, you can see their new partners. You can see Uphold is one of their partners. You can see Sologenic, of course. BitGo is now featured. Some of their leading sponsorships are down here now. So exciting times for Quorum, guys. I'm excited for the Sarah airdrop, and uh, let's see what happens in the next few days. We might get some more news before the airdrop, but everybody have an awesome day and peace.